really during these past two years, both the governor and I have had the opportunity to be at media events, groundbreakings, and today, like today, we get to be about ribbon cuttings that really celebrate all the businesses that are growing in Indiana. And over the last two years, we've added over 100,000 private sector jobs in this state. That's pretty amazing. And it's companies like Nove with this plant right here in Markle, as well as facilities in Columbia City and North Manchester. And I'm already impressing on Steve about when Plant 5 is going to open up. So don't, Mark, don't leave the pressure off. Keep working on that. But we want to see businesses to continue to succeed, and we want them to understand the advantages of being right here in Indiana. And our commitment remains to be a very business-friendly state uh, with tax and regulatory policies that allow businesses like this to grow. We also know that in addition to our business-friendly climate, it's about transportation, right? Especially in your business, it's about transportation, making sure that we have a world-class transportation system in our state so that we can truly be crossroads of America. And uh, as the last General Assembly and the commitment has been to continue to fund, fully fund transportation and more, uh, Governor's budget has again recommended adding an additional $300 million in road construction to make sure that we're continuing to build the roads here, making sure that we are the, a, a logistics dream of a state. Uh, we also know that we need a workforce that is prepared, and you heard uh, how they're looking, Steve's looking for more welders out there. We know that, that in our workforce development efforts, we want to continue to promote career and technical education, making sure that we are also providing the workforce for these jobs. We know that 65% of the jobs over the next 10 years are going to require, like the welding skills, some sort of post-secondary uh, skills and education. And as a state, we know we need to do more to help support that. And I'm sure that uh, this applies with the much of the advanced equipment you have out here. We want to continue to make sure that the workforce we provide can keep up with the technology that you bring in. So today I'm just proud to join Steve and Jeff and the whole team here at Nove to cut a ribbon and officially open this new facility. And again, want to thank you for helping us show that Indiana really is a state that works. Thank you so much.